Hi, good morning guys. We uh, haven't driven the Jeep in a long freaking time. So technically this is Jamie's Jeep. Yeah, Jamie. Just kind of wanted it. Battery's dead and uh, tire's a little squishy, but uh, we're gonna see if this thing fires up. I'm pretty sure I put a new battery in it, but I guess it, nothing, nothing. All right, so we're figuring it out. This thing needs a windshield, dang. Still nothing. <clears throat> we're not even hooked up. Oh, <clears throat> that makes sense then. So we did, uh, we bought this thing a long time ago. We got a great deal on it. Jamie actually told me to sell it the other day because we haven't done anything. Well, and she wanted me to paint it pink, and I was like, oh, it needs a bunch of body work. I don't want to paint it pink if it needs a bunch of body work. And then she was like, well, just sell it then. So I was like, all right, don't tell me that. I might, I might actually sell it. Or maybe we'll actually take this on some family adventures this, this year, which is kind of the plan. I don't really want to sell it. I mean, that's why it's been sitting outside and kind of just collecting collecting some dust. But, I mean, it's overall, it's a nice unit. Like, I'd, I would like to, I would like to rip it a little bit. Oh, unplug it, override it, and then connect it. Like, take the alligator clip off, override it, and then connect it. <clears throat> Maybe one of these days we'll actually paint the freaking six liter too. Here we go, boys. Oh, how you doing? <clears throat> we are ready to rip now. Need a little sauce, a little more. Look at that, it freaking stuck the gauge where it was. Oh. Like it's, it might be okay. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna let it warm up, and then we'll put some, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of air in the tires, and then we'll go drive this thing. Uh, I think Eric was gonna try to do a donut in his uh, Forester over there. You haven't ridden in this thing since the shocks. I have ridden it. We almost drove it up the freaking wall oh, back there. You remember that? Nope. That was before we had shocks on it. Really? Because Jamie put the shocks on it. Oh, we made, that's right. You guys drove we, it. I didn't. We finished This it. thing is solid. It is solid now. Isn't it so much better? Yeah, because before it was just... Oh, it was insane. I kind of like that we're driving this back here because then I can like mow down these weeds a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So I'm going to drive in the... Drive on the weeds. Drive on the weeds. I can't even jump my pit bike over here. Did the you? Ranger jump. But yeah, we could make a nice jump right here for cars. Like that is honestly pretty good. That is a really good run up. And then this is where we were doing the... The donuts? The donuts. I guess we could bring the STI back out here. Well, we were talking about the baffle plates and stuff. I don't know if this will do donuts. I'm not is it roll drive mode? Yeah. Let's see, let's see Eric do some donuts. Yeah, this thing's solid. Like actually solid. Now let's just climb up on them. I like the squeaks. Yeah, that's great. All right. It's just deep things. Here he goes. I don't know if you wanna. All right, let's see it, buddy. I wanna see you guys first. This ain't gonna do it. Yeah, well. No, Walt, you go first. Yeah, get it, Eric. That thing is like the perfect height. <laughs> He's just driving in circles. Okay, yeah, that's that's what you gotta do. He's just having a blast, you can tell. That's his daily. He hauls his family around in that. He, he does haul his family around and in he's that. He's over here just beating her up. Look at her go. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. Hey, we could get some fuel and we could go up uh, Jetta Mountain later. Or honestly, you could drive that thing up it. Yeah, you want to go up Jetta Mountain? Yeah. You do? Do you want to drive that or do you want to drive this? That or this? Like this. You want to take that up Jetta Mountain? Is it bad? 
You'll be fine. You'll be all right. I love how we still call it Jetta Mountain even though the Jetta's long gone. The Jetta is. I don't know what this is. Well, this was kind of the Ranger Rodnock Mountain. Rodnock Mountain. That's I'm what. Ready. That's what. That's what we should I'm call ready. it. We're gonna run out of fuel. All right. Do you think so? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. How do you think Eric's doing? I don't know if he's ever off-roaded before. He's taking a kind of a weird line. He is taking a little bit of a weird line. Oh, we're in rear wheel drive mode, buddy. Eric, Eric, is, yeah, he's he's back there. Oh, mode, buddy. There it is. This thing just goes. When it it's, does. When it's in four low, it doesn't even care. Eric's got the open diff and all his wheels are spinning. Like the whole front of this thing just feels like burn, burn, yeah. burn. This thing's just solid. No problem. How's Eric doing? He's doing great. Yeah, Jamie drove up this before. Yeah. There we go. Maybe we can do donuts up here. Oh yeah. You made it. Good job, buddy. What do you think? I think it'd make it. Hey, the Jetta made it. Yeah, the Jetta made it. Fuck yeah. I think that could make it, you know? What do you think about it? It's awesome. You've never been up here, huh? Off the, where was the Ranger? Right there. Well, down down the next hill down, basically. Gotcha. The last corner. Yeah, it's awesome, yeah. Yeah, this... Everything. You can really see everything up here. That thing is sick. Then you got the, the trusty old steed right there. Yeah. That's windy up here. It's windy. Yeah, that's, I'm staying in the unit. All right, you ready to go back down? Yeah, I guess. All right. Well, you we ready got, to go back down? We got some stuff. We got we got to get to work today. This is a good uh, side quest, though. A nice side quest. Well, and I want to get down there before this thing runs out of gas. We gotta. Yeah. Then it turns in. Then it turns into a situation. It does turn into a situation. I don't like how clunky the front end is. It's like ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I just wonder what it actually is. Might just be some brackets banging around or some something like that. I don't know. This is a pretty impressive hill. It's not bad. Like, I kind of like to like almost smooth it out, but that, then I feel like it would lose its charm. Yeah. He's going for it. He's got it. No problemo for for old Eric. This thing feels great in four low. It's got like all the torque. It's just like it shifts to second, third. No problem. Plenty of power. All right, so brother got the whole front end swapped on this thing today. So he got the new style Morimoto headlights, Ooh. the paint match grill, brand new front bumper, the hood. Looks super sick, no hail damage in it. And uh, paint match is pretty decent. So overall, front end of the truck looks pretty good. Kind of blends into the back of the truck. Looks pretty good though. Yep. Hey, good, good job painting. Thank you. It only needs a only needed a little bit, huh? Yeah, we got to put that tailgate on and then uh, come at me, Greg. A. Eh? Oh, <laughs> wow! There it is, huh? <laughs> Calling out the the tubers. No, the turn them headlights on. Nice. Yeah, you got the Morimoto uh, lower guys too. Hey. Yeah. So this is like a fourth gen style yeah, headlight. Yeah, like the interior of it is the style. Yeah. Hey. On it, like it's a sick looking truck. Like, I feel like the light is really changing everything. But like with the paint match, like these third gens just look so good. Like I've always, I've always really been a fan of this truck. So I just haven't been a fan of the trannies. Yeah, you just need to get the get a new input for right there, and we'll be set. Yeah, that is it. Maybe another tranny. I hope not. The next one that goes in here will be a G fifty six. You put a muffler on it, huh? Yeah, it has a five-inch cat back with a muffler. Yeah. So it's it's good. It is good. Sounds good. Thank you. Good looking truck, Ronnie. That's a retired Yeah. I can tell. Are th is this gonna pinch it? Is it gonna get it? It'll rub a smooth spot on there. Oh, and you're willing to find out, huh? Yep. All right, whatever. Go ahead. Actually, these new tires don't rub like the old ones used to. Yeah. They're skinnier. Yeah, all right, good. 
Well, look, we both got paint match, paint match rigs now. So, yeah, these were, I think, uh, 60 bucks. Those are eBay for tomorrow. 60 bucks, how much? Uh, it was like 1400 with the fog lights. Yeah, cheap. Yeah, cheap. So I'm actually gonna take the white truck for a little drive. I'm gonna see if it get a little bit warm. I think it needs a rear main seal, so I'm gonna go drive it around, double check some things. We got some tires for it that we're gonna mess with tomorrow. And it has a check engine light. It's got like this, you know, bunch of stuff going on under there, so. See if this thing will pull up on the on the guy. Crank up the heat. You can actually do the temperature right here, which is kind of cool. You can turn up the fan. Like that's kind of unique that you could do that with with just the center. So uh, IT or outside air temp is probably one of the things. And then uh, I don't know. I don't know what else. Thing hasn't been happy in the morning as far as starting goes. Glow plug circuit, glow plug circuit. It's under one glow plug. So it's probably like the modules like unplugged or something. Cause I don't know why you'd get all eight of them or the harness or something. Taking this guy for a little stroll. Feels solid. I just love a six liter. Just they're just good. I don't know. They're. When they're good, they're good. When they're bad, they just kind of make you mad, but there's so many, it's kind of like a Subaru. I feel like, you know, they've, they've kind of, the ones that have had their issues have already kind of had their issues and the bugs have kind of been worked out. And, and if you are having an issue with yours, then there's so much information on the internet to like help you um, do that. So, um, you know, help diagnose, help fix, whatever, like they're, it's nice because the way the the systems are and the pressures and everything with the ECU, you can log a lot of the parameters and see if you have a high pressure oil problem or, you know, I mean, it just tells you a lot of stuff. So, um, I don't know if they, they're rewarding when they, when they're good, but when they're, when they're bad, then you just got to fix them. Right. You know, so let's see 259,000 miles. Honestly, like really strong runs really good so I'm pretty happy about that we also have a set of mirrors for this thing too so uh, it just needs a little bit more cleanup and then this thing will be ready for uh, for sale probably within the coming week I hope Looks good though with all the paint to match. So I definitely think we kind of want to paint the front bumper and that's, I don't know, that's almost not a resale thing. That's like a me thing, but definitely the paint is a little bit different shade, but obviously this has been, you know, this paint is freaking 15 years old at least. Um, and then this is just brand new. So this is like all faded and like not even polished, whereas this is all like new. So, you know, you can't really be too mad at it. All right boys, so it is the next day. And uh, last night when I got home, I was surprised by a bunch of uh, a bunch of tires at my house. So late yesterday, we we're kind of messing with this six liter. Took it for a drive. Everything was uh, was pretty good, but the tires that were on it were just kind of small for the truck. They're like you know two seventy five, whatever. So they're like a thirty two inch tire. But the truck has like I think a three and a half inch level on the front, and then it actually has like a six inch lift on the rear. So it's kind of like a stink bug right now. But uh, Eric is swapping over these uh, these tires on there. So got some brand new 35, 12, 50, 17s. And we'll get this thing sitting on the ground. This is what was on it. 265, 70, 17s. And we're actually gonna go ahead and put these tires, cause they're, they're in good shape. Like, look at that. They have tons of tread. They just looked kind of small. So we're actually gonna put those on the red Tacoma and then we have new tires for this thing. And then we have some more new tires. These are 285 70 17s. These are actually gonna go on the other Tacoma, the uh, great Tacoma. So we have new tires for it. We have new tires for this. And uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of plugging away along on this thing. I wanna remove these guys, cause as you can see that, that just doesn't look the greatest with it just not being like paint matched again. So we'll get those off of the truck 
and then uh, it's crazy it doesn't even like sit down at all it doesn't squat like that leaf spring is just it is serious like that is a serious leaf spring uh, but it does have like a three inch block right there on the back I think that's a three inch block so I think we're just gonna pull that block out and I think that will actually kind of level it quite a bit and you know the, the back could stick up a little bit but just the to the extent that it is right now but that just looks way better already just having the new tires and everything that white grill. the white grill and then uh, i need to get some fender emblems that'll definitely help and then this and then you know depending on you know we might do a little bit of polishing to try to get this to kind of match a little bit more but other than that that's a freaking slippery slope i tell you what really slippery slope but yeah the tires look good it's weird i got a reasonable deal on them on ebay a uh, simple tire was messing with my brain so they would post them i think i sent them to you they were 640 bucks remember and then you were like that's insane like that just buy those right now buy them all like is what he basically said and then like a week later they were a thousand bucks and then a week later, there were 700 bucks, and then they went up to 1100 bucks, and then they went back down to 700. And I was like, you know what? I we need these. I just ordered them, um, and then now here they are. So now this truck has brand new tires, which I think will help with uh, with the sale on it. And uh, again, I still need to clear coat this bedside, so we'll we'll scuff this with uh, the gray Scotch Brite. That should give it enough tooth to uh, be able to do that. If not, we might hit it with a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more base coat, but. Uh, yeah, just moving, moving along. Uh, these things are a pain in the butt. A major pain in the butt. A major pain. So what we'll do is we'll hit them with a heat, a heat gun and then we'll get a razor blade because I think it has two strips of adhesive. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll heat it up with the heat gun and then we'll try to cut it with the razor knife, but we'll do it close to um, this edge you know, and then we'll leave as much of the double-sided tape on the body and then we'll use that eraser wheel and then that'll get everything else off. So, I don't know. I mean, if you want to pull it outside in the sun, let it warm up a little bit and then we can kind of play with it from there. Um, but yeah, what do you think about that leak? Definitely has a leak. I mean, we could pull the tranny, we could do a rear main seal and then we could drop the pan out of the bottom you know, without like pulling the cab and pulling the engine. So we basically could do the oil pan gasket too. Yeah. Would be my idea. I don't know. We're, they like said, we're just, we're just figuring it out. Oh, hey. What you doing there? Filming a vlog. Uh, wow. So we're ripping a, uh, this is going to be an Instagram reel. So this is behind the scenes of Charles making a spicy reel. Uh, obviously center force is a sponsor of, uh, of the channel and clutches and stuff like that. They've helped us out Corvette evil wagon. And then now this crazy twin disc that is going to go behind the seven, three Godzilla, which should be able to hold like thousands of horsepower. Um, so Charles is filming a reel for them, uh, to post on Instagram and, uh, getting some, just also we probably need some B roll for the motion auto video too in horizontal. Uh, and then Eric is over here. Eric, how you doing? Doing great. What are you up to today? Clean well, up these tires. Yeah, these ones are turning out good. Are they actual white walls now? Yeah. I Should didn't you... think they were, but they are. Yeah, nice. So he's getting these uh, these tires cleaned up. These were the ones that were on there. This thing overall looks mm -hmm. a lot better. He went ahead and removed the, the little side trim pieces. And now it just looks like a whole new truck with that. So need the door handle, need the couple other little things in the fenders, and then decide what to do with the front bumper, but uh, he has the Tacoma Eric's mad at me. over here. Why? Eric's really mad at me. Because you second guessed him? Why would I second guess him? I don't know. Cause no, you... he, he told me that I wanted to buy his TL for $1,500. He did. He backed out on me. Oh, what did I, I say? For, when did I say 1500 bucks? I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I said I'd give uh, you a thousand bucks. We're having a daily dilemma here. Everybody wants a different daily and I have too many dailies, uh, but this thing is getting the tires off of that. These ones are pretty bald. This one actually isn't bad. If they all look like that, I'd be okay with it. It's just this one where we had the camber wear. It's uh, pretty cambered in right there. It doesn't really look the greatest. So these are getting swapped out. And uh, with those guys, I think those will look those pretty. Look way better. Those will look at home on there. They've got plenty of tread. And They're then smaller though. Slightly. Slightly smaller slightly. sidewall. 
But that, like those are 285s. Those almost are too big. And these are 265s. Perfect. So I think it'll be fine, right? Well, and didn't the top of the tire rub on the control arm? It did. Yeah, so that's it. It did. That's and then nice. this thing, instead of, I was going to put 285s on this, but then I decided to just do the 35s, and I think it fits it perfectly. Now looking at it, it makes me just, now I know that I need 35s for my truck. But it looks, looks really good. I'm still, you know, still working, working through this. This whole paint situation right there but tires look solid and uh hopefully we get a buyer that's what i want i need a, i need a buyer here soon so i'll tell you what we'll just take pictures right here it needs the it just needs more stuff like if the door handle was in it maybe and then if we had fender badges we technically have a badge off of the other one we could like stick it and take pictures of one side at a time with the badge on it and then when the other badges come in we'll stick them on there we also have replacement mirrors but i mean overall this truck is pretty it feels pretty solid like i i wouldn't mind driving it maybe i'll just sell mine and i'll just drive this you'd hate it you would miss your 2018 too much i would love the i would i would be entertained by it yep yep all right boys so <laughs> got a little distracted uh for some stuff on the auction today so and i'm shaking like I'm literally shaking. Like you should feel my heartbeat right yeah. now. Look at the camera. Yeah, you're going. Like I'm, I'm so F650 high bid, and then a freaking Kia Stinger GT. So we're that's the twin turbo V6 boy. Twin turbo V6 all wheel drive Kia Stinger with Brembos. If something has Brembos on it from the factory, it's pretty cool. It needs so them. We're uh, we're at one we're, on the truck. We're high bid on the truck, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're at a minute on the truck. So this is an F650 box truck right there. So tell them why you were considering that one of everything here. Um, it, this, this auction, I feel like this is, you know, people who know about this auction or whatever, they're just trying to buy like a cheap thing, cheap daily driver, something to flip. But then if you come over here and you get on like commercial truck trader or whatever, um, you end up seeing like F650 box trucks for like 30 grand. Obviously, I don't think that that is a $30,000 truck, but just for the fact that like, you know, if we could get it for under 5,000, I think maybe it's a $15,000 truck and that would be a big deal. It runs, it drives and it has keys. So that's a big deal right there. Um, Kia Stinger runs, drives, has keys and the blue book on it right there is that. So that's the trade-in. Private party is a little bit more. I need to make sure I'm not losing that. No, you're good. He's close to it, the guy. It's me and one other guy. So we're gonna continue bidding and let you know how it goes. I'm just, I feel it. I'm just shaking right now. Like my my heart, I don't know why, like, but it's cool. It's a different feeling. This is different than Copart because it adds time to it. Like it adds a minute. So it just does Every some weird stuff. Yeah. Or yeah, it just, just 60 seconds. It changes it. I think it it starts like closing faster as it goes, but I guess it depends. Six, uh oh, boys. Five, uh oh, four, uh oh. Three, two, one, and you bought it. Pending. Woohoo, buddy. We got a, we got a 2004 to F650. That could be a crazy that, come up. That could be good for basically three grand. So looks like I, I know what we're doing. Well, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I was freaking gonna go try to drive that thing home. All right. So it is the next day after my whole auction uh, dilemma. And we are on our way to pick up the six liter. That is the only one that we can pick up today. So the 05 uh, crew cab long bed six liter that looks like it was a theft recovery or abandoned, whatever. Um, but interesting truck. And uh, we're gonna go pick it up today. And today's a great day for it. What do you think? It's awesome. Nice, nice perfect, weather. Perfect weather. It's nice and warm. Um, it's like 30 degrees out. It's like a snow, but it's kind of like a wet snow. Um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of Go, uh, good thing, well, we got the trailer hooked up with the winch, so we should be able to like back up to it, freaking roll it on, and uh, hopefully just drive off. So that's the plan, but uh, I guess we're gonna take you guys along with us. You like that hill? You looking at that yeah. hill? Yeah. Not a bad, trash? it's not a bad looking hill. No, I think that's an asphalt plant. Uh, okay. So that's where they, they grind it up and do the thing. All right, boys, we're almost there. <laughs> Rip it. 
all right so here she is this is our purchase right here what do you think first impressions eric nice truck not a bad all unit the tools huh? we got with it somebody whooped it got in it and freaking oh my yeah. goodness actually look at that seat the gas tank. that is a good sign right there um that is a really good sign. How many how many miles? We don't know. Three hundred and thirteen. <laughs> Three hundred and thirteen is its next oil change. So we're uh, we're gonna get up there, boys. Um, let's see, ignition is busted. Obviously, uh, air filter. That's maybe it's a. Do you think it's an ether baby? Should we check the oil first? Look at that. Oh, is this a? Buddy, I think, I don't know what that is. It might be, it might be a. She's a little oily. She is a little, hey, but you know, that means it, it has oil. I hope. She's got oil? Cool. Um, well, let's see what happens. Is it, is it ripping? All right, so let's see. Where's a popsicle stick to start this thing? So I just take my house key. Stick this in here. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. I need like a Ford key, I think. You got a Ford key somewhere? I need to be able to put it in. Um, let's see. What's. What's really going on under here? I don't know how to... I think should just, in theory. Oh, there we go. All right. We're ready. Okay. All right, we got power. Um. All right, boys. So, seems like she runs. Fired right up. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Sick. All right, now what do we do with that information? Do we drive it on the trailer? Do we back it on the trailer? Uh oh. Uh, it wasn't you? <laughs> All right, I wonder if the if the battery. Oh yeah, it's, it is pissed off. That's what it was. Well, hey, you know what? We figured it out. Probably get enough to just back it up. Yeah, honestly, I think we'll just throw it in, we'll throw it in neutral okay. and we'll just winch it up. Okay. I mean, that's why we got the winch. See, this is on. Pull this guy out. Eric, would you like to do the honors? fender if you could crank it the other way a little bit more yeah to try to get the back to come over I just can't believe it started. Oh, it had flares on it, and then they took them off. I was wondering. Got a little lift kit. Probably need some training solenoids. It probably leaks a little bit. This was on there. Hey, it's only got 300,000 miles on it though. So that means it's ready to rip. Hey, look, we could paint another fender that won't match. We're just ready to go at any moment. <laughs> Anything we need. Uh, what size tires? 18 inch tires. Do you think I could get some cheap cheap 18s for? 
It's got this freaking big transfer tank in the back. Honestly, I, I bet I could almost sell that for what Just I paid that. for the unit. Yeah. And try to get it. And then we got the box body. This is this is great. Ooh, it's got a goose in it. Nice. You know what? I'll just sell this one and we'll just drive this. That'll be it. I'm just going to go back to ultra cheap Trev. As cheap as Trev can be is what, is what we'll do. What do you do there? Do what? No, just personal. We have, uh, so we do like YouTube, so we post stuff on the internet. Yeah. So we make videos like buying cars, working on them, driving them, fixing them, racing them, yeah. breaking them, do whatever. Breaking so <laughs> so anything, anything with cars, like... Slow controlled uh, rip. Can you uh, can you walk it back in? Yeah. Uh, don't slip. Don't slip and fall. Oh yeah, go mountain climbing. I can't believe the barbecue sauce is is leaking. You ready? All right, we did something. That might not be enough, but hey, I'll pull it forward and we'll figure it out. Look, we got fresh oil on the on the deck. That's nice. Look at that freaking barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce here leads to barbecue sauce down here all right so me and eric got this thing all unloaded we'll uh, kind of mess with this thing in the future but uh for now me and my brother have an f650 we need to go pick up tomorrow so i'll catch up with you guys in the morning do you know anything about that run i know it said runs drives that but do you think it'll drive out of here no unless you want to put the drive shaft on there okay so it was towed in yeah i told i towed it in okay because uh they left it at an apartment i mean somewhere it was illegally parked Mm -hmm. And I brought it in and they came for it after the 30 days were up so they couldn't get it no more Yeah, but yeah, I, I took the drive shaft off. Okay, and the drive shaft bolts and everything are over there though? It should be right there. Yeah, okay yeah, They had it on on Friday It might have some tools in here because all these are still locked. Yeah. Literally, the drive shaft bolts are right there. Yeah, where'd that guy go? Just down the street. Yeah, it'll. Oh, well, okay. One of the needle bearing things is missing, both of them, but they're right here. So if we had some grease, we could price the seat right there yep. and there. We could definitely get, them, get it on though. Okay, guys, so. He bought the 650 from the tow auction. What's going on right now is, uh, why don't you tell them what's going on? So the they pulled the drive shaft because they obviously towed it in here. They didn't drive it in here. So a drive shaft is uh, included, but it, it also needs, uh, it just needs to put in. So there's a couple of little pieces of dirt in here. We'll probably just get a new U-joint for this thing once we get back to the shop. But for now, I'm just kind of cleaning out some of the rocks in it um on the little needle bearings and then we're going to stick the drive shaft back in it with the um with the bolts and then we should be able to drive this thing home because obviously getting this thing towed would be pretty expensive i guess it got towed from a uh like a hotel um i don't know 
kind of weird. I don't know what to think about tow yard auctions or whatever. It's kind of interesting. I feel like people just end up losing their cars for lots of reasons, you know. But cleaning out the bearing a little bit. Good thing there was some stuff in in there. Make sure there's no rocks. What do you think? Do you think this thing will drive? You think, well, first off, will it, will it start? We cranked it a little bit ago when we first got here. <coughs> it sounded a little mad, but it might just need a sniff of the good stuff. It might need. Is there? There was. I think some of there's some of that is included too, right? Yep. It came with some good stuff. So I wish we had a little bit of grease, but whatever. Yeah. It's, might need to. I wonder if we need to like put it in neutral. Now let me take or a look. It should be in neutral, I think. I'll take a peek. Yeah, it's a neutral. So it has these uh, locks on here, and what that does is that locks all these um, doors at the same time, and it has it has the locks still on there. So it's going to be kind of fun to go through these and see what's what's in the boxes i always like seeing what kind of stuff people leave behind but uh yeah the locks are still on there it used to be like a fiber truck is what it looks like so we've got all this fiber back here this wiring there's uh a winch right here and i mean all kinds of cool little tools it has this uh, pickaxe it has that hook for hooking stuff. That would actually be good for catching snakes. It has these copper grounding rods. So quite a bit of good stuff up here on the bucket. And then it has that roll of uh, wire back there too. What do you think, Ronnie? I mean, for the price. Not bad. Uh, really nice. Here. Plus it has all this fiber back here. It just gets expensive. Nice. Well, we're going to get it figured out. Um, we got to go pay for it, and then we'll be back over here. Uh, the Kia is right over here, too, so we're going to look at that and see what's actually wrong with it. What's going on? cold-blooded like it just doesn't want to move at all like power wise yeah and then it seems like when it's in reverse they're like park is actually reverse well these don't have a park and the e-brake is is right there too so you got to push it all the way forward service engine light it doesn't seem to want to rev that's to the floor in neutral go so it's at least moving <clears throat> so there's that one now we got to get this one obviously i don't know how happy it's going to be about but it, probably once it warms up it'll be better all right so warmed up a little bit it's running a little better So it's actually driving now, which is good. So what do you think? He says he thinks there's something wrong with it. Let's let it warm up for a bit. I guess now we got to figure out if this other one is roadworthy. I don't know. I mean, that pulley was definitely wobbling, but it hasn't came off yet. Yeah, it either will or it won't. That's the thing. guy was talking about Murphy's Law earlier. Yeah. All right, boys, so we're going to fire this unit up and hopefully she makes it back.
lonely freaking hill with a stoplight right in front of it. We get to, uh, now we get to do it with no momentum. All right, well, here we go, boys. She's floored. We're making it up this serious hill right here. Yeah, I really wish we could have maintained some momentum. I guess it'll give everybody a chance to pass us. Got my brother in the other truck. I mean, it's going. I'm definitely glad it's going. Slowing down pretty heavy, though. Yeah, I'm literally to the floor. You want to I go want to go in the bucket. Let's go. Look at this guy. Muy poquito. What'd you get? I don't even know. I think this whole time it's been making a ton of noise. Wow, Frank, Frank Foley is like, it sounded like it was knocking the whole time. And then as soon as I turned the corner, it stopped. Now it sounds beautiful. What is this? Well, that was a stressful drive. 35 miles an hour up hills. Nice. Going on the highway when it's flat, you get her about 60 and it stays all right there. Um, I don't know, what do you think? It looked good from behind. It yeah. seemed like it was doing good, but up the hills, it's just slow. Yeah, it was That's kind of like that coach I used to have up the hills, 35, and you you going down them, it'd be good. And then, I mean, it's just a small motor for a big truck. So, Ronnie, what do you think is in these boxes? Uh, maybe some tools. There's some pretty cool things in the back. Um, but I, I I don't imagine a whole lot. There's but, locks on it all. But there's a potential for for some goodies, and that's what I'm really interested well, in. Well, I'm really curious about this freaking bucket and how we get that to work. Well, you turn on the PTO. So we fired up. And then you could control it from the back. There's a little box in the back. And then there's also controls up there on the boom itself. This truck is, you know, inherently, what would you say? There's an ass for every seat. And if you're selling a truck, on marketplace or a car in marketplace, you have to, you know, that person or let's say that Tacoma right there. If I'm trying to sell it Tacoma, somebody has to have enough money or a bank approval or whatever to do that. Well, when you think about stuff like this, well, there's businesses. Businesses need equipment. And sometimes businesses have money, more money than regular people. Uh, so this isn't something that will probably sell right away, but I think it'll sell. And when it, it sells, I think I'll get some reasonable, reasonable coin out of it. And especially like if I sell this, I feel like I could basically pay for the stinger. And if I sell the stinger, I feel like I could pay for this thing. So one of these things is 100% profit is how I'm considering it, I hope. Now, one thing with these bucket trucks, you know, you mentioned screwing around in it. You gotta be real careful with uh, telephone poles because there's this thing called a minimum approach distance. And you get too close, you don't even have to touch it and that arc will jump and ground you out in the truck and it, it's happened before. So you got to be really careful with that and especially this is a non-insulated boom and bucket so so this is a this would be one that you would want to use for like tree trimming or not working on power lines or stuff right correct yeah because you could you could really get zapped in something like this so it's it'd be good to keep an eye out yeah and so this guy they were a subcontractor installing fiber or doing whatever they were doing with this thing but either way i am curious to see what it does Oh, there it is. All right. What do we got? These might be electrical gloves. Let's take a look. If so, yep, these are electrical gloves. So these are very expensive. You use this for working on voltage. 
So those are the outer gloves, hold those. These are the inner gloves. So this is actually what protects you from getting getting shocked right here. And these things are supposed to be stamped every six months. But you can see if they're still good, you go like this. And you listen for air leaks. And you can tell if they're good or not if they don't have any air leaks. So that that's your inner, and then this goes on your outer. And that'll protect you from getting zapped. Oh, dude. Copper? Oh, buddy, we got copper. <laughs> nice grounded wire. We got some, some of those units. Oh, my goodness. Oh! DeWalt, we baby. We got a freaking DeWalt. So this oh, one, this one here wow. already had a, this one here was already open because it has a wooden door. <laughs> Ooh, this thing has a power inverter. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Dang. We can hang Christmas lights now. Can hang Christmas lights for me. How long has it been? So <laughs> we've been, to, we've been together, what, eight years and now? And you hung Christmas lights for me one time. One time. One time. Oh. Oh. We've got a second drill. Oh. That one's, that one's new too. <laughs> I think this is like 50 bucks. But hey, you know, Let's it never- if you have a charger for it in your inverter. Well, it's just in time for uh, Valentine's Day, so. Yeah, Jamie's new drill. Give her a heart <laughs> drill. All right, so we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna engage the PTO and see if this stuff moves. Do you think the PTO's driven off the front belt? Unit, huh? All right, boys. So let me know what you guys think of this thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I got myself into, but I definitely think that there's some serious value here that I'm going to try to try to extract. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was a little bit of a longer one. If you haven't checked out the main video on the, the Kia Stinger, that's going to be going, it's either live or it's going live in a couple days on the Motion Auto channel. We decided to turn that into a full episode and basically treat the F650 and the F250 as uh, kind of their own episode. So I know you guys enjoy the flip content. I enjoy it well. It um, seems like I, it's just it's just like built into me. I like it. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. See you later.